so let me brief you about ads and uh, what exactly how exactly we can build circuits on this and uh, let me explain brief introduction introduction to ads and about exactly each and every component represent in this uh, so basically once you open ads these are the basic blocks which uh, if suppose you want to basic firstly first you have to create a workspace in this this so after this this is a workspace already open this is my workspace after that you get folders like this so this is the workspace basically after that you have to if suppose you want to create some schematic or something then you you have to use all this so this one is the schematic one suppose let's say create one new one so cell name, name it as something so be, do not start with can uh, or do not start with one numberings so start with a letter some basic next window opens up like this this is the schematic window you can use so now suppose you want to create a circuit then let me create a circuit basic as circuit so let me introduce all this this is and this not that measure are there you can save the board save this file as a template so you can use it further next uh, next further any other circuits so you can create this schematic as a template so next uh, you can copy or save or something you can import any other schematic already present in uh, your laptop or something so you can import that also or you can export this also so the uh, next actually uh, that is the file type this is it supports file like this these are the files it can support to be imported next uh, after that it is not important for me next uh, this is design parameter i suppose you want to include any parameter variables like then you can this is let me explain later those next uh, this these are the let us start with the basic circuit so basic idea like uh, this is the delete one and this is undo this is a redo next day this is this circuit shows the full circuit and this is a pin one and this is a ground and this is a variable so these are the major naming I suppose you want to name some wire then you can use this and to uh, to connect components then this is a wire next uh, this is hierarchy if suppose uh, a block has insert inside circuits then you can use it i will explain this later next this one is uh, deactivating and activating a component if suppose you want to do if you don't want a component to work in a circuit then you can use this and this is a simulate simulating and this is, you can tune some variables if suppose some, some variables are there you want to tune then you can tune that also and uh, here it, it is like similar to tuning this is called optimization optimizing i will explain those later okay next let us build a, a basic circuit rc circuit r so click on this and this pops up next to you if suppose you want to rotate then rotate like control or rotate okay next uh, let me take c also c when is the capacitor okay after clicking like let me show uh, 
click on this this one com comes with that and after clicking they be placed on circuit uh, schematic okay you can grab grab this anyway next let me take a uh, source let mm, let me take a ac source ac vac voltage vac source okay next connect to the grounds next uh, if suppose you want to uh, have outputs right let me name that so i want to color this so i want to name it as output so you can use this for the display purpose next this is the input next uh, uh, now you if suppose you want to give any values uh, to this you can give i suppose let me give 5 or 10 10 picofarads and 50 ohm if suppose you want to let me 1 next uh, so this is circuit ready now in order to simulate this we have to take a simulator like this this is a simulator click on this and grab this click so that i am placed so in this you want to i suppose this is the frequency range in which it works so let me do this on single frequency so one gigahertz so stop frequency one gigahertz steps single frequency point okay i want this to act on this one this work on single frequency now or you can give a broad range of frequencies it will be uh, later we discuss where we use a broad range of frequencies so in this i am giving one gigahertz of frequency apply okay next here one gigahertz and this is one volt of uh, ac signal now let me uh, observe the output it v out okay next now we have to simulate this circuit okay if suppose some any errors are there then here it will be shown what exactly happened okay this is so this is a new window okay this is data window so you you can observe the outputs of your circuit here so let me introduce these all so this is a data display in rectangular plot like mm, two coordinate system suppose some variable in x axis and other variable on y axis you can access this or this is a smith chart in some case in some cases you definitely need this smith chart like rf circuits or something mm, this is a basic some uh, tabular form this one is tabular form one next uh, you can insert some equations also some like x equal to y some let me x equal to some variable insert okay some equations you can insert in this next uh, these are the basic drawings you can suppose you want to draw something you can draw on this okay <coughs> next uh, let me show our results so i want to print this output in magnitude from or sinusoidal okay time domain means uh, what 
time in time in time domain okay okay then this is the coding like time signal or something time in this is this means time domain of this one so <coughs> this is our circuit this is uh, means this is output at mm, v out yeah, that is this is our circuit right so let us compare with the input and output let me name that again let us name this as an input v in now let us simulate again okay this is output right let us in introduce uh, input also so we can compare input and output so click on double click on this in order to introduce some other double click on this okay do not click on this okay it does not pop so click on this white area okay so next in introduce pn <coughs> This is also in time domain. These are like a DB. If suppose you want to have the values in DB or something, so we can have this. Huh? So let me, now we want in time domain. So let's click on time domain. Time domain I will input and time domain in output. Okay. So this is this one is input and uh, this one is output. Red one. Red one is output. Right. So mm -hmm. let us make those let me take in uh, different tab tabs so i can compare easily actually magnitude magnitude here it is decrease so you can level it up by multiplying some constant uh, where is this expression if suppose you want to level up this this is magnitude of something <coughs> so let me take mark how much it is it is of magnitude peak uh, let me take so this is a marker if suppose you want to take a new marker then you can click on control m or uh, on this so you can get a marker like this and click on wherever you want to place it on uh, curves so let me click on this and click uh, on keyboard you if suppose you want to delete then delete it I tell it okay marker if suppose you you want to uh, see the peaks in a plot then click on this and uh, valleys then some minimum points this is a maximum minimum maximum okay suppose you want have you want to have a line then you can have like this this is the line this covers the both both the curve means this value and this value also so at this time value of v out and value of v in okay easy right so at some at, at a point maximum so this is the output let me take these into individuals v in time domain next tab v out <clears throat> time domain okay so let me compare so this is the basic operation of uh, rc circuit right this one is introduced a circuit introduced some phase and this one is a sinusoidal input input is like co cosine it started with a one at time zero so this is uh, input is cosine after that uh, this one is output right it a circuit introduced a phase so it is flipped of something like a phase or approx some less than 90 less than 90 or something okay this is 
the output next if suppose you want to analyze other in other ways so suppose you want to have in uh, db or magnitude let me take in magnitudes what it does is we in it uh, it shows you magnitude at frequency so let me show other values like uh, db so this is single value set single Mm, next, uh, let us do on transients. So let me pause this. 